Hey guys, Chris Maricos with another video for you. Today we're talking about the verb ending ing. Now sometimes people ask me, how do you pronounce it correctly? Is it ing? Is it in? Is it ing? How do you pronounce this ending? Well, I'm going to tell you today that there are three different ways that you might pronounce it, depending on the situation. Usually when we speak, we pronounce this ending ing. There's a special sound. Ng, ng, ng. It's in the back of your throat. This is not the same sound as n. For example, let's use the word speak. We can say he is speaking. Here we have the sound ing, not the sound in. Speaking. But sometimes we can hear that people say speaking. Or people say speaking. So what's the difference? If someone says speaking, then probably they're trying to speak very clearly so that you understand exactly what they're saying. We don't usually pronounce this verb ending like this, but when someone doesn't understand us and we want to speak more clearly, we might pronounce it like this. In some accents of English, people also pronounce this ending in. I mean, they don't say G at all. In fact, they speak as if G weren't there at all. So some people might say, he was speaking. I'm going to tell you that all three variations are correct because people say them in different situations. For example, I usually say in, like speaking, when I'm just speaking fast and I'm talking with my friends. I usually say speaking when I'm talking with someone and I want to speak very correctly. And I usually say speaking if I know that the person didn't understand me the first time I said the word or the person asks me to repeat what I said. Now let's look at some words that have two ing sounds in them. First of all, words that have in plus g. Usually words that are spelled with the letter combination in g have the sound ing in them. For example, singing. Here we have two ing sounds. And bringing, another example of two ing sounds. But we also have the ing sound in words that are spelled with the letter combination in K. For example, thinking or drinking. Both of these words also have two ing sounds. So sometimes it might be difficult to differentiate words that are spelled with in G and words that are spelled with in K. For example, the word thing and the word think. Because when we say the ing sound, the letter after it usually isn't pronounced, it's swallowed. It's combined with the ng sound, and it's very soft. So, thing or think, thing, think. You can hear that in think, the k sound is a little bit stronger. And in the word thing, g is very, very soft. I hope that helps you understand how to pronounce the verb ending ing, or ing. If you have any questions, write a comment under this video. Don't forget to press like, press subscribe, and see you next time. Till then, it's Chris Maricos.